and welcome back to another cool loser tech video these are the best galaxy note 7 apps number 353 okay it's time to showcase the top 10 must have applications for your note 7 or your galaxy device even though you don't have a galaxy device you can still use 80 percent of these applications that i'm going to showcase to you first of all let's start off with the wallpaper of the week and it's called wall ray now i've been really liking the setup of this wallpaper you can see just edge to edge you can also go into the wall ray you go to favorites you can go collections now there's a lot of collections i didn't even make it to the end of it because there's just so much that i was looking at it and if you find something in here that you like let's set this one as our background we're gonna set as wallpaper Let's go into categories and you can actually jump real quickly if you want into some technology. You're going to have a ton of great pictures. Now let's go to the home. Now the home looks like this and it started to match my background. Number two, galaxy button lights. Notice how I don't have any light up keys on the bottom of my navigation keys. No matter if I touch or touch the screen, it does not show. That's because I turned it off with this application. I don't like to see it. You can see there's always off or there's always on. And you do save back button and you can see they're back right here. So if you have to see them in the dark, they're gonna show there all the time. They won't turn off, but you could go into the time. You can set a timer, but I turned them off and I love that. That's also gonna save me some battery, I believe. Number three, battery percentage. Also pay attention that I don't have that big annoying battery percentage on the top. If we go into settings, we go to battery. Now if you go up here, notification, advanced settings. In the settings here, we have a status bar indicator. There is 94%. Pretty big notification there, and I don't like seeing it, and it's annoying to me, so I turn it off. So now all you have to do is check on this little battery on percentage, and it'll go inside your little battery. You can see 93% right inside the little battery. I like that better. It just cleans it up. You don't need to be rooted. You don't need to do anything fancy. Just literally just check on and off. You can see that it's off, and then we'll check on. Now that's a percentage in there. Number four, S Pen Toolbox. In this application, we've got a few settings in here, and one of them is where once you're done with the pen and you stick it inside, your pen can make a noise and your screen will also turn off. So that's a Galaxy Note exclusive application here. You can play a sound, pick which one you want to do when you detach it or attach it. And then we get little actions right here. We can go to the S Note, you can long hold and add shortcut application or an action. Let's do an application and let's set our calculator. So now the calculator is setting right there and I can click onto it. It's going to jump real quick right to it. So as soon as you pull the pen out or bring it back down to the action list. So instead of doing the little clicky on the pen that only Samsung has here, yes, you can customize it, but there's extra little features that maybe the application did not have a shortcut for. Number five, all-in-one gestures. Now this application works for everybody and everyone's gonna absolutely love it, almost guarantee it. If you've been wanting to do a lot of gestures on your screen, going back, going forward, going home, recent application, launching application, this is gonna be it. Now I will do a dedicated video on this because there's a lot to explain and a lot to customize and it's gonna be kinda hard to do it under a minute since I review top 10 apps here. But check this out, I got shortcuts here. Bring it out and go back to the gestures application. And that was for recents. Let's go to this little pole here. Back, and back. You can choose your edges, which one you want to have. Then there's the corners. And if I launch a very corner over here, I can launch my Twitter. The left bottom side also has an application. And that's my little recorder here. So whenever I want to record an application or a game, you can also customize the hardware keys where if you want to press the power button or the volumes, you can change them to be other shortcuts. And the status bar also has customization. So if you double tap it, it turns off your screen. Like I said, I'm going to go deeper in this application because it's a must have for everybody. It doesn't matter if you have a Galaxy or not. It's on Android. Really cool gestures. Number six, art flow. Now here you can see a little drawing that I did earlier. And there's quite a few nice ones out there, but not like this one. I found this one to be easier shortcuts. You can see the layout. You can literally see what's happening if you want to change the opacity. All within reach. You could also have a shortcut to customize your pen. So if you're drawing on there, you're like, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. You could erase that. And you could also click on this little button there and erase that or undo. Now click on your pen. You can see you can change a lot. Go into the pen, you can change the colors. It's just a really quick and intuitive application. You pick your colors, you can go outside of here. Just click on that and you can start drawing again. And best of all, you can go into the settings and do palm rejection. So you can set your palm on there and start drawing with it without having to worry about writing all weird. There's so much more what you can do 
definitely go try it out for yourself. Number seven, AZ screen recorder. Now Samsung does have its own recorder, but it does not record as smooth as this one right here. We're going to the settings. Now you can do the resolution up to the 2K display or even lower so you can share and have a smaller file. I do in 1080p with zero problems. And you can do the end. I always have 60 frames per second on all my videos for the last like two and a half years. And then bitrate, I have it on the highest because I want that great qual. And you can choose to record the microphone, the text logo, the show the touches. Then you can do the front facing camera if you would like to record with that. And you could also, you know, move it to the other side. And this will also go away. There's the button. There's three two, one, and the counter, and it's starting to record right now, this very moment. So if I scroll over, scroll over to the other side, you can see this moving, and let's go home, and then go back, and then you can see that as I keep going through it, it's showing you what I'm doing, bring down notification. Sometimes I have them on the side on certain days. Love it. Number eight, Zedge. Zedge today is still the number one way of me getting new ringtones and notifications. And you can also find wallpapers and games notifications. I go here, thousands upon thousands of, of short little notification sounds. If you want that, just press download and you can go see who uploaded. You can follow them and press download. You can set it as ringtone notification, contact or an alarm. So you can individually set it as a contact. It's just so much easier than going through your settings and individually doing it. Like I've gone through so many, look at all those. I've listened through them all. There's a back in the feature. Zedge used to be pushed on a lot of older devices, but a lot of people forgot about it and new people didn't get the chance to remember or even discover this application. This is definitely a must have application for me on all my devices. Number nine, Scribble Racer. Now this is a game that anyone can play, but perfect for a stylus phone like this. All right, so I'm gonna start right here. You can see things moving and all you gotta do is do not touch any of these targets. It's actually pretty challenging. You can do it with your finger, but it's a lot better with the pen, obviously, because you're more precise. The candies give you extra points, and all you do is kind of beat your friends and get on the leaderboard to be higher. And the longer you survive, the faster it's gonna get, and the beats change up on you. And you can see that the trace line of where I'm going. Look how close those calls are. Oh, and there I go, I hit. It's a good game. Number 10, Bushido Bear. Now this is another excellent game to play with your S Pen. You don't need to. Now what you do is move your bear out the way and make sure you swipe your way into um, destroying all these guys. And you can see that destroyed. So there's a bonus. And you can swipe right through it. And you can keep doing a lot of swipes. Oh, they kind of missed that. And they're wave two. You can see things dropping. Don't get hit by them, but you gotta slice them. Don't run into them. You just gotta slice them apart. Here's my vengeance trial. There we go. Did I get them all? Oh. Whew. Whew. Some of them will move and obviously that's gonna mess you up and I hit a rocket and I ended up losing. This is just the very beginning. I don't want to show you another levels because I want you to discover how crazier this game gets. And there you guys have it. These are the top 10 best Galaxy Note 7 applications as well it works on 80% of other Android devices. So if you like this video, give me a like. I love the Galaxy Note 7. I am gonna do a full review on everything that this does with its hitting features and other things that you can use and do with the Galaxy Note 7. Alrighty, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Later.